All right, everybody. So what I want to do is show you how to access SolidWorks. Um, our first assignment is going to be very simple. It's just, can you get into SolidWorks? Can you get it functional? And uh, if so, we're good to go. Um, and uh, that'll I'll be happy about that first assignment. So um, there's a couple ways that we can gain access to that. If you watched my previous videos, um, I talked about our uh, class link page, and I also talked about our remote app page. Um, probably the simplest is to go to, uh, in, and I would recommend using Google Chrome. If you'll notice, I'm not only using Google Chrome, I'm using it on a Mac. So I'm about to um, run SolidWorks on, a, on an Apple computer, which is, which is kind of crazy, but it's going to work and, and it's pretty incredible. So in any case, launchpad.classlink.com forward slash seals. Um, in order to sign into here, it's just your username, no email address with it, but you would replace your username, which would be 24 last name, first name, and then the password would be just your school password. Signing in with Google doesn't work here, so you have to do it that way. Um, at that point, that brings you to the remote desktop launch pad, which is, which is actually what this is. Um, Eventually, sorry, it'll bring you to ClassLink, and if you click the remote application icon right here, that's what actually takes you to here. Sorry, so I got ahead of myself. Um, if you notice this and this are the same thing, the difference is I don't want you guys to have to put this whole address in. You can if you want, so put it on pause and you can put that in and just bookmark that if you'd like. But the reality of it is, is from here, if you put your school email address in, so 24 last name, first name at seal-pa.org, and then your school password and click sign in, you're in. You're actually into it. Um, so two things I want to show you in here. Number one, I want to show you SolidWorks. So if you go ahead and click SolidWorks 2017, it will open. And it actually opens pretty quickly. Um, we'll see how fast it runs when there's multiple kids on it at the same time. I don't no let's see that's weird there we go so i must have photoshop opened as well too in the background so we'll see if it can run both um you'll notice that it is a little bit um slow but that was actually pretty quick i think it ran remotely quicker than it does in our classroom so a couple of changes that i like to make and here's the changes that i don't know if this is going to stick as you guys go to use this. If I roll over SolidWorks, you'll see that the menu changes and I roll back away and it changes again. We actually want both of those, this and this on there. So I'm gonna roll over SolidWorks. I'm gonna head over here to the thumb, thumbnail, thumbtack, and put that on there. And now that all works, which is, which is absolutely fantastic. So that's step number one. Um, if you go back to all resources, there's a drive file stream in here, and that is essentially like File Explorer on a, on a Windows-based machine. So it gives you access to all of your drives. Before I click that, what you're going to notice is if I go into SolidWorks and I go to File and I go to Open, um, it is, Lee is the last one I graded, so it keeps coming back to that even though I've changed it a bunch of different times. Um, you should have access to um, your Z drive. Um, or any other drives that map with your login, which is which is absolutely awesome, All right? So that is one way that you can access files. The other way, which I began to talk about, was if we click all resources and we do drive file stream. Is that going to work? Yes, there we go. All right. So occasionally that doesn't work, just so you know. Um, occasionally this will not come up and you end up having to go back to here and click it again, and then it eventually comes up. So a little bit confusing. Normally you would have um, on a Windows based machine down here, you would have your, your um, programs that are opened. You can see in the remote desktop, it just has the, the programs that I've opened up here. So you have access to all of your files in here, um, which, is, which is great. As you guys can see, um, I can see all of, all of the Z drives for, um, for uh, my eighth grade group, well, my eighth and seventh and my sixth grade groups, to be completely honest with you. So um, if you save something um, into your Z drive, 
um, I'm able to go in there and actually see it as well too. So um, that is kind of what I'm looking for. Um, and just basically making sure that you guys can all access that. Um, I will push this assignment out. Um, you're hopefully going to be reading this uh, via Google Classroom right now. So uh, what I would ask is um, after you've gone through and made sure that you can open it, if you just respond with a, basically an update, a status update as to how you've done and did it work, I would certainly appreciate that um, and have a great day.